Looking ahead, this weekend marks one year since the deadly white nationalist rally in Charlottesville. Governor Ralph Northam has declared a state of emergency ahead of the anniversary. Extensive planning has taken place over the past couple of months to ensure safety. Talia Cunningham from our sister station joins us live this morning from the downtown mall with those plans. Talia, good morning. Good morning, Katie. Lex, a big part of this safety plan is to keep pedestrians and vehicles away from each other. Now, where I'm at now is the exact location where Heather Heyer was struck and killed by a car at last year's rally. Now, in order to do that, police will be controlling entry points to the downtown mall. People will only be able to enter and exit from two designated areas. Now, there is no specific threat to the city at this time, but intelligence will be monitored all weekend. Now, you can expect to see a heavy police presence. I actually just saw a couple state troopers where I'm at now. 1,000 officers will be patrolling the city of Charlottesville. 700 of those will be state troopers and the National Guard is on standby right now. Now, local hospitals do have extra staff and resources on hand just in case. Multiple agencies and departments have come together over the past six months to prepare for the worst. And that presence is here as a support to our citizens, as well as a deterrent to anyone who would want to come into the community um, and exercise their First Amendment rights in a way that would violate someone else's First Amendment rights. <clears throat> Now, this memorial for Heather Heyer continues to grow as we approach Sunday. Now, if you do plan on coming to the downtown mall, there is a long list of items that are not allowed. Some of those include knives, bats, skateboard, and masks. However, you are allowed to bring handguns because of the Second Amendment. Now, things will get under underway in just a little bit. The barriers are going to be set up, and those road closures will start this evening at 6 o'clock. Live in Charlottesville this morning, Talia Cunningham, 10 on your side. We'll continue to follow the rallies in Charlottesville and D.C. over the weekend and bring you updates on our Wavy News app.